there. So former President Trump found liable of sexual abuse, but specifically not rape. If you could speak of the distinction there. Sure. And, you know, if this was a criminal trial, you would look at a rape charge and a lesser included of indecent assault and battery, meaning the jury just didn't find one element of penetration, perhaps. But on the key issues here as to who is telling the truth, what actually happened, it seems that the jury in a very short period of time for, you know, a trial that was two weeks or so, um, unanimously, the nine folk nine people came to this verdict that sort of with the damages amount said, we believe um, E. Jean Carroll's account of this. We do not believe uh, what the lawyers, because Donald Trump did not show up. We do not believe what the lawyers said to us in this case. All right. So Trump has denied any wrongdoing, but he didn't put on a defense. He didn't even show up in the courtroom. And we've got to look at the deposition. I'm, you just heard this, but I want to play this potentially pivotal moment that was played for the jury one more time. Have a listen. It's Marla. You say Marla's in this photo? That's Marla, yeah. That's, that's my wife. Which one, woman are you pointing to? No. That's Here. Carol. Oh, is that, the person oh, okay. you just pointed to was oh, Eugene Carroll. All right, so there's Trump confusing E. Jean Carroll right there in the photo with his ex-wife, Marla Maples, despite the fact that he had said out there that E. Jean Carroll was, quote, not his type. So obviously that played a pretty big role in her being awarded $3 million in damages for defamation, wouldn't you say? I, I think there are two things there. The first is that he never said he wouldn't do this. He just said, uh, I wouldn't do it to her because she's not my type. In other words, I might engage in this activity. And don't forget that Access Hollywood tape went in and, and some other women saying he'd approach them in a similar way. And so that plus then him saying, well, I think that's my wife in the photo. That was a pretty damning moment. And the attorney for E. Jean Carroll, uh, Roberta Kaplan, is very, very good. Good. I'm sure she uh, secretly said, hmm, we have him here because he uh, really, uh, in this instance, I think, uh, said to the jury and then finally when he didn't show up, um, I can't be bothered to be here. Uh, that has to be a huge factor as to why they found him liable uh, in this instance. Okay. Thank you so much, as always, Martha, for joining us and giving us the, your insight. Absolutely. Former Massachusetts Attorney General Martha Coakley.